good morning viewer welcome to our fosak tv yes breaking news yes the brain yes the brain and the digestive tract are in constant communication relaying signals that help to control feeding and other behaviors the extensive communication network also influences our mental state ha has been implicated in many neurological disorders mit engineers have designed a new technology for proving those connections using fibers embedded with a variety of sensors as well as light source for optogenic stimulation the researchers have shown that they can control neural circuits connecting the gut and the brain in mice in a new study the researchers demonstrated that they could induce feelings of fullness or reward seeking behavior in mice by manipulating cells of the intestine yes in future work they hope to explore some of the correlations that have been observed between digestive health and neurological conditions such as autism and parkinson disease the exciting thing here is that we now have technology that can drive our that can drive gut functions and behavior such as feeling yes more importantly we have the ability to start accessing the cross talk between the gut and the brain with the millisecond precision of optogenetics and we can do it in behaving animals says polina anikivada matula s salapatas professor of material science and engineering a professor of brain and cognitive sciences director of k lisa young brain body center associate director of mit's research laboratory of electronics and a member of mit's mac groven institute for brain research anikiva is the senior author of the new study which was published on june 22 in the journal nature biotechnology the paper's late authors are mit graduate student adhrava saha bude duke university post doctor laura rupikshit mit post doc sima orguk and former mit post doc tural khudie last year the mac govern institute launched the k lisa young brain body center to study the interplay between the brain and the other organs of the body research at the center focus on illuminating how this interaction help to shape behavior and overall life with the goal of developing future therapies for a variety of diseases there is continuous bidirectional cross talk between the body and the brain and it was said for a long time we thought the brain is a torrent that sends output into the organs and controls everything but now we know there is a lot of feedback back into the brain and this feedback potentially controls some of the functions that we have previously attributed exclusive to the central neural control bendazivot positive